Hi everyone, I'm Nemo and today I'm going to do a tribute to Michael Jackson, the king of pop. To do that I'm going to use Quick Test Professional, the automation tool to replay a script which I have written. It is not a recorded script but it's a written script which I have uh, done and I am going to use also function libraries to help me to create different functions and to use them within the script itself. This particular script it's using uh, regular expressions and also programmative descriptions. So this is the, the part of the script that you can see on the screen and uh, as you can see I'm actually doing uh, right lines, a lot of right lines because I'm writing to an HTML file which you will see uh, will be really really useful in, in this situation. And I have no objects inside the object repository. It is a blank object repository which I am using because all the objects are taken directly from the open browser so I'm declaring different browsers and I'm using as you can see programmative descriptions with regular expressions meaning that the dot star means that the name of the browser can be anything and I'm getting the property of the name because I'm going to use a later on in the script to close the, the browser with the, the handle I'm using the handle to close the browser uh, so in this script, just to briefly show you what it's doing, it's accessing the web page, it's waiting for the page to load, it's getting the property of the title, the handle and the name of the browser. Then it's creating uh, uh, an object which is the, the child object, mid class, which is taking the value for images. So anything on the page that has images would be taken in count and I'm using this basically to get the amount of images into the browser in this particular web page and counting them and for the amount of objects I have I'm doing a, an iteration on the loop this iteration is going image per image and it's getting the source of the image so if I show you what happens in this situation with the object spy I'm going to do an object spy pointing to one of the images in here and as you can see it's highlighting the, the pictures in, in question and, and I'm going to get in this uh, example I want to get the property source this is the content I'm, a, I'm after this is the direct link for that image inside the web page so the, what we have at the front it's not really useful and it's not going to be used here, uh, in the script so what I've done I've created an, an array which will split the value of this source text and it's going to separate it with the with the HTTP so as soon as the text HTTP appears on that string it's going to separate the value with array 1 and array 2 the second table is the, the second column is the actual image uh, with the, the actual size and this is going to populate and uh, I'm just doing a check if let's say if there's loads of results uh, on in Google web search Google image search this will basically be showing there and this is this part of the script is checking that if we have any other links available here maybe you know if there's not a lot of results it won't it will maybe only have one or two links available there but in this case obviously because we're talking about Michael Jackson it's got about 2 million results, more than 2 million, nearly 3 million. So um, this is going to check for the next and it's going to click on the next page and it's going to uh, go and uh, do the, the iteration until the page has finished getting all the images and, and it's going to output the image, the total image found on that particular search. And at the end it's going to close the browser and get me the the report path. I've declared a report path to basically create the HTML file. Uh, I'm using the, the, the function library which I've created in the past and which is going to be used in this again. I've just had to do a couple of modifications there to make sure that what I want to get it's going to be outputted in at the end. Right, let's start. Let's see what uh, this is going to output. I'm going now to Google search and this is already something I've typed in there, rare pictures, uh, rare picture of Michael Jackson. Um, and I'm going to do the replay now, let's see. Uh, yes, from the temp folder. 
as you can see it's uh, it's replaying I'm replaying not in fast mode but just in normal mode so you can see the cursor moving you know the arrow the yellow arrow if I do fast run you won't see the arrow moving like this um, so as you can see it's found that it has more than one page result which is obviously uh, the case for, for this and just to show you what's going on QTP is still working at the background and the web page is just getting refreshed automatically by QTP going to the next page getting the images storing them into this specific uh, HTML page I've decided to create and it's gonna do that for all the pages available right we're not gonna wait until we found all those pictures I'm going to stop just to show you what happens so I've stopped this the script in the middle so so it's not going to close the browser automatically for us and we're not going to get the, the report the file itself so I'm going to show you this uh, now if I access the the shortcut I've created it's going to bring me the the HTML file I've created this HTML file was generated by QuickTest Professional at runtime so it was created by QuickTest Professional at runtime and now it's just populating all the images as you can see you know there's loads of images it's using the direct link to the images to bring me the results in one in one specific uh, web page it's going to create tables which I've defined into the uh, which I've def which I have defined in uh, in the Google uh, in, in the script sorry so as you can see I've got all the images the actual size of the images you know and um, so which is great because this is what I want to use I don't want to go into into Google you know, this is what happens when you go to Google you have to click on one link for the image then you, you get to the page itself then you have to click again on that web page on, the, on that link and maybe from there you can save the image but what this script is doing it's directly going to the web page directly getting the images and it's saving the images into one simple file you know you can access the file you can save the images even better and I show you how to save all those images if you if you don't want to save one by one the images there's an easy way to save all the images to your computer easy way to do that with Internet Explorer is to click on file save as and now what you get is make sure that you the save as type you select web page complete right and I'm going to save an, into a preferred folder I've defined before and this is what what's, this is going to do this is going to save all the images one by one to that specific folder and this is exactly what we want we want to save the images instead of going to Google and, and sa saving one by one all the images this is the easiest way to do it and, and this is thanks to the script QuickTest Professional which I've just showed you and, I've just created this and everyone can create this really easily if you want help if you if you have any questions regarding this and specifically with the the functional library you know give me a shout give me a comment at the below of, of this video and I can explain to you if you have any questions the script in QuickTest Professional which I've created and it's uh, using a functional library and in this functional library I'm creating a file a temp folder uh, I'm creating a file to be written automatically at, at runtime. I'm defining HTML tags inside uh, inside this function library, and uh, and I'm calling those functions one by one. You know, function close, function start HTML inside the main script. So thanks again for uh, for watching, and I hope you like it. Please subscribe. I will get more videos coming soon.